Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 5 Anatomy and Life Process from Grade 9 Science. Today we are going to discuss Part 3 of this unit that is Human Glandular System. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel and for more updates hit the bell icon. If you like this video, if you like this video, please share with your friends and don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. Human body consists of different glands, they produce different secretion required for the body. The secretion mainly contain hormones, enzymes and juices. The secretion enhance several activity in the body and make it fit and healthy. A group of organ and tissue which is responsible for secreting enzymes or hormones in the body is called glandular system. The group of glands which secrete different type of juices required for body is called glandular system. There are three types of glands in human body. They are endocrine gland, exocrine gland and heterocrine glands. The organs which secrete hormones and different types of juices and helps in the metabolic activities in our body are called glands. There are three types of glands. They are exocrine gland, endocrine gland and mixed or heterocrine glands. So now one by one we are going to discuss uh, exocrine gland, endocrine gland and heterocrine gland. Exocrine gland. The gland which consists of dogs are called exocrine gland. They are the doctor's gland. The secretion is carried by the dog to the related region of the body where they have to work. They secrete juices like mucus, saliva, tear, etc. and consumption of their secretion is more in amount. Their secretion are related to life process like respiration, digestion, etc. And the distance between the gland and the working region of the juices produced by them is less. Example of uh, exocrine gland are uh, salivary gland, tear gland, liver gland, gastric gland, intestinal gland, etc. Next one is endocrine gland. So here are some of the characteristics of endocrine gland. They are dogless gland. That means they do not have dog. Their secretion is carried through the bloodstream to the related region where they have to work. They secrete hormones and consumption of their secretion is less in amount. Their secretion are responsible for control and coordination of growth. Distance between the gland and the working region of hormones produced by them is more. Next one is heterocrine gland, characteristics of heterocrine gland. So they are doctor doctor's gland. The secretion is transported by a separate duct and through blood, for example, pancreas, pancreas, gonads, etc. Difference between in exocrine gland and endocrine gland. Exocrine gland, they are doctor gland, whereas endocrine gland, they are doctor's gland. In exocrine gland, secretion is carried out by the duct to the related region of the body, whereas in endocrine gland, secretion is carried through blood stream to the thread region, to the related region. Exocrine glands, their secretion are called enzymes, whereas endocrine glands, their secretion are called hormones. Exocrine gland, consumption of their secretion is more in amount, whereas in endocrine gland, the consumption of their secretion is less in amount. Hormones, the chemical substance secreted by endocrine gland and heterocrine gland and have effect on growth and metabolic activity of the targeted cells are called hormones. That is the reason hormones so they are known as the chemical messengers. Hormones are known as the chemical messenger because they are the chemicals who serve as the means of communication among various parts of our body in a coordinated way. Function of hormones. They promote the physical, mental and psychological development. They activate and control the functioning of different organs. They promote the development of secondary sexual characters in adolescence. They control the production and maturation of sperm and ovum. Some of the major glands hormones function of, the, of their secretion. So here is a diagram showing uh, the endocrine glands in human body. Pituitary gland it is located in the skull or we can say at the base of the brain. Thyroid gland it is located at the throat or the anterior or we can say anterior part of neck. Parathyroid gland it is located over uh, thyroid gland in throat or we can say behind the thyroid gland in neck. 
adrenal gland it is located in the kidney or we can say the upper part of kidney pancreas it is located behind the stomach in the loop of uh, duodenum and uh, this is they are located in scrotum below abdomen in male and ovary they are um, located in the lower abdomen as well of female now one by one we are going to discuss a uh, different endocrine gland so here it comes a pituitary gland pituitary gland it is a small endocrine gland and its shape uh, shape and size are like p so we can see the, uh, it in a given diagram as well location depression of the saphenoid bone in the skull secretion is secret growth hormone and catalytic hormone function of growth hormone it increases the rate of protein synthesis it controls the growth and overall development of the body function of catalytic hormone they control and regulate different metabolic activities they control the secretion of other endocrine glands as well hyposecretion so if a pituitary gland secrete the hormone less in amount uh, hyposecretion means under secretion less secretion then it causes dwarfism hypersecretion which is also known as oversecretion uh, oversecretion of hormone by pituitary gland causes dysentism pituitary gland is called master gland pituitary gland is called master gland because it controls the secretion and activities of all other ductus gland next one is thyroid gland so here is a diagram showing a uh, thyroid gland in our body so thyroid gland it is located in the neck region just below the larynx in front of trachea hormone secreted by thyroid gland is uh, thyroxine which is also known as the thyrotropin function of this hormone is uh, to increase the cellular respiration metabolism and growth of the body hypersecretion that means over secretion more secretion causes the increase in the rate of metabolism increase uh, impulse rate uh, mental irritability excessive sweating excessive hunger whereas hyposecretion less secretion causes retardation of the physical and mental growth dry skin so pulsate less sweating stammering hoarseness of sound etc sometimes thyroid gland increases in the size due to the deficiency of iodine in diet uh, which is also known as the goiter thyroid gland secrete calcitonin hormone which uh, encourages uh, calcium deposition in the bone as well next one is parathyroid gland so here is a diagram showing the parathyroid gland in our body it is located over thyroid gland in throat the secretion of this gland is known as parathormone and the function of the parathormone is to maintain uh, is to maintain calcium and phosphate level and control the proper development of bones it reduces the excretion of calcium in urine as well hypersecretion hypersecretion formation of tumor and uh, kidney stone softening of bones etc whereas hyposecretion fall in the calcium level in the blood and switching of muscles and titani sweat gland is called exocrine gland why sweat gland is called exocrine gland because it's uh, secret juice which is uh, sweet with the help of duct adrenal gland so here is a diagram showing adrenal gland so it is located in kidney its secretion is known as adrenaline and the function of adrenaline is to maintain blood pressure prepare body to face emergency uh, balance salt in body balance of water in body etc hypersecretion of adrenaline hormone causes high blood sugar and hypertension whereas hyposecretion it causes weakness low blood pressure less sugar contained in the blood on consciousness etc Sometimes adrenal adrenal gland releases a hormone known as cortisol which acts as a sex hormone. Due to the over secretion of cortisol hormone, feminine characteristics are seen in male and masculine characteristics are seen in female. Adrenal gland is known as the emergency gland. Adrenal gland it is known as emergency gland because it prepares uh, it helps body to face emergency situation and prepares the body for uh, flight, fright and fight. Next one is pancreas. It is located behind stomach in the abdominal region and it secretes hormone called insulin. So function of insulin is to maintain uh, sugar level in blood, it stimulates deposition of extra glucose in the form of glycogen in liver and muscles. 
Hypersecretion of uh, insulin it causes uh, uh, diabetes, which is uh, popularly known as sugar disease. Hypersecretion causes hypercalcemia and hypercalcemia. Pancreas secretes glucagon hormone that increases the amount of sugar in blood and stimulates liver to control the glycogen into glucose. Pancreas is called mixed gland. Pancreas is called mixed gland because as a as a endocrine gland is secretes hormone insulin and glucagon and as a exocrine gland is secret enzyme pancreatic juice. Next one is gonas. Testis of male and ovaries of female is called gonas. Testis male reproductive organ. So they are the heterocrine gland located in the lower abdominal region which produce male sex hormone called testosterone. The main function of testosterone is that it promotes the development of masculine secondary uh, sexual characters like appearance of pubic hair, uh, development of sexual desire and hoarseness of some. Similarly, uh, ovaries, ovaries, they are the female reproductive organ and they are located in the lower abdominal region of female. They secure hormone called estrogen and progesterone. Function of estrogen is to regulate the development of secondary sexual characteristics and helps in the growth of mammary glands, whereas progesterone hormone plays a significant role in the maintenance of pregnancy that is prepares uterus for the development of embryo. Similarly, the environmental factors which will bring some change in a, on an organism is called stimuli. For example, heat, light, touch, etc. Stimulus. The environmental change that causes an organism to so respond is called a stimulus. For example, tossing mimosa is a stimulus and collapsing of leaves is a reaction. Reaction. The response given by organism to certain stimulus is called reaction. Endocrine glands are very important even they are small in size. Why? It is because under secretion or over secretion of hormones produced by these glands directly affect the growth and development of the body. Any disturbance in the function of these glands results in dwarfism, gigantism, obesity, sterility, etc. Animal can respond quickly to a stimulus but plant cannot wait. Animals use both nervous system and endocrine system. So they can respond quickly to a stimulus but nervous system is absent in plants and they use only endocrine system for coordination. Therefore, plants cannot respond quickly to a stimulus. So, an adult woman may, have, may develop facial hair. Why? So, an adult woman may develop facial hair due to the uh, overgrowth of adrenal cortex. Now, we are going to discuss plant hormones or phytohormones. Phytohormones are the chemical compounds present in Present, very, uh, present in very low concentration in plants. They regulate plant development, growth, longevity, flowering, fruiting, fruit ripening, phototropism, etc. There are five uh, major uh, natural hormones required for the plant growth. They are auxin, zebrilin, cytokinins, uh, abascus uh, acid, and ethylene. Hormones are categorized into two major groups. They are growth promoters and growth inhibitors. Growth promoters are auxin, gibberellins, cytokinins, and ethylene, whereas growth inhibitors are abscisic acid and ethylene. Ethylene is both growth promoter and growth inhibitor. Auxin. The function of auxins are promote cell elongation of the root and stem and apical bud growth. It prevents premature fall of leaves, flower, and fruits. It is used in plant propagation, that is, cutting and grafting, and it also promotes flowering of plants as well. Next one is cytokinins. The function of cytokinins are support in cytokinesis, promotes shoot growth, support apical dominance induced by auxin, stimulates the formation of chloroplasts. Next one is gibberellins. Function of gibberellins are promotes bolting before flowering in plants like cabbage, elongation of steam, breaks seed dormancy. Next, next one is abscisic acid. Function of abscisic acid are they induce abscission of leaves and fruits. They inhibit seed germination. They also accelerate dormancy of seed, stimulates closure of stomata to prevent transpiration. 
इथाइलिन फंक्शन ऑफ इथाइलिन आर इट ड्राइवेंस थ्रू ब्रेक सीज एंड बस डोरमेंसी इट स्टिमुलेट्स रैपिड इलोंगेशन ऑफ पेचियोर एंड इंटरनोस प्रोमोस सेंस सेंस एजिंग एंड एब्सिशन ऑफ लीव्स एंड फ्लावर्स इंड्यूस रूट ग्रोथ एंड रूटियर फॉर्मेशन फार्मर्स आर गेटिंग मोर बेनिफिट्स बाय यूजिंग सिंथेटिक प्लांट हार्मोन व्हाई इट इज बिकॉज Plant hormones support in the crop yield by proper growth of plants promoting pre-fall of leaves flower fruits <laughs> promoting flowering and fruiting Next question insulin and glucagon calcitonin and parathyroid are antagonistic hormones why because their action are completely opposite glucagon increases blood sugar level and insulin decreases blood sugar blood glucose level Similarly parathyroid hormone increases blood calcium level and calcitonin decreases the blood calcium level that is the reason they are known as the antagonistic hormones by this we have completed most of this unit human glandular system i hope this video was useful to you if you like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you have any queries drop the comments in the comment section see you on the next video thank you